Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you the working of this clinic management system project. So, as you can see, this is the dashboard. Here, you will be able to find out how many patients are there, uh, total visits, how many patients have visited so far, uh, today's state, and then this uh, shows the recent patients. Okay. Then, uh, we have this add patient. So, I can add patients from here. We can mention uh, the patient information, full name, age, gender, contact number, address, and then visit information like symptoms or cause, then diagnosis, treatment, and medicines prescribed. Once you do that, uh, you can save patient information and you can also clear the form. So, let me show you quickly. So you can see patient added successfully. Now we can view patients from here. So the patient that I have added is this one, right, Iramashra. And these are all the details. Here you have the action. So if you want to delete any patient, you can just simply click on it. It will say, are you sure you want to delete patient Iramashra and all their visit history? This action cannot be undone. Okay, so all the visit history and uh, the details of this patient will simply be deleted if you will press yes. So patient deleted successfully. Now let's move to search patient section. Here you can see we can search the patient by ID or name. And here we have all the patients that are registered so far. Okay. So, we can either search by patient ID or name. So, if I type Anjali, you see we are seeing the record, right? We can also uh, search based on the ID. So, if I mention uh, 10, so you see Puna Mayor, okay? Then, we also have two buttons here. One is view and one is visit, okay? Suppose uh, the patient visits the second time. So we can click on this visit and here we can mention the symptoms, diagnosis, treatment and medicines prescribed. So quickly let me enter. After entering the details, you can just save visit. Okay. Once you do that, you can see this is patient details, right? Here, you can see the patient information here, Anjali Singh, right? And here you can edit patient information if you want. Like for example, if you want to change the age to 30, you can do that like this. And then uh, you can also print the latest prescription. Okay. So, this is the visit uh, that I have added just now, okay, and this was the earlier one, okay. So, uh, we can print the latest prescription. So, I will just click on this print latest prescription or if you want to print any uh, visit prescription, you can click from here, right. So, let us print the latest prescription. So, prescription is saved. Okay, uh, let's view the prescription before showing you further. So, the prescriptions will be saved in this prescription folder. 
So I'll just open it in Explorer. So this is the prescription. So here you can see uh, hospital uh, doctor name, uh, then the profession, and then the medical license number, then the clinic name, uh, the address of the clinic, and then the phone number and the email address is mentioned. After that, patient information is there. Okay, name, age, gender, contact, and date. Then consultation details are there like symptoms, diagnosis, treatment and medicines and below that we have a doctor's signature. Okay, so all this is in the prescription. Okay, so from here also you can view the patient's details page. Okay, so if you want to edit any visit, so you can do it by clicking here, edit visit. Okay, if you want to add more things, you can do that and you can just simply save. Okay, like for example, cuff syrup, <clears throat> you can do that change. Okay, and then if you wish to delete any visit, you can delete from here. Okay, this will, I assure you want to delete the visit dated, uh, this action cannot be undone, right? So if you'll say yes, uh, this visit will simply be deleted as you can see here right so yeah this is how you can uh, view or uh, add more visits for each patient okay then uh, if you go to this reports here you can see the reports in the form of uh, the graphs so this is simply the number of patients and age group Okay, this graph shows uh, patient age distribution, like how many patients have age uh, between 20 to 29, okay, between age 30 to 39, okay, so accordingly the percentage is also given here. So the patients whose age is 50 to 59, they are 11.1% uh, in number, okay. Then this graph shows you the gender distribution, how many males and females are coming to your uh, clinic so 55.6 percent females and 44.4 percent uh, male so uh, from here you you will get some idea about your clinic right like uh, at what age people are visiting uh, your clinic more or whether they are female or male right then you can also export patients list so if you'll uh, click on it patients list will be exported in this uh, reports folder Okay, so we can just simply, sorry, we can just simply open it. So, uh, I think this is the one. Okay, so this will give you, oh uh, no, actually this is the older one. Here you can see the date and the time. Okay, so this is the latest one. Alright, so you can see all the patients here. And then we have this exit. Uh, are you sure you want to exit? No, nothing will happen. But if you we'll click yes, uh, this app will be closed. Then we have dark mode. So if you we'll click on it, you will be able to uh, see the UI in the dark mode. Okay. So everything will uh, now be in dark mode. Okay. And uh, if you wish to change it back to light mode, you can click on it again. So I hope uh, you have understood everything. So I have two versions, one which uses SQLite database and one which uses MySQL database. If you want to explore the code or try it yourself, check out the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more projects like this. Thanks for watching the demo.